Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a, it's a girl Fanny Longo back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Longo, and on this channel, we post reaction videos um, on a daily basis, by the way. Other than that, we've got a second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. You can head there and enjoy the content that we're putting out every week. Um, we also have a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse. You can head there and just check out our wonderful conversations, enjoy the conversations, whether they're working, whether they're driving, whether they're cooking. It's just something young, something for the youth, something that's just, that's just enjoyable. So head there. Uh, subscribe, enjoy our comments, download it, whatever the case is. You can actually find our podcast, Diving In with Fanny and Jesse on podcast, on Podbean, iTunes, and Spotify, and actually on this channel as well. You can also follow follow us on social media. Um, yeah, a big shout out to our subscribers. You guys are the best, almost at 15,000. I can't wait and a big shout out to everyone that's watching that's been watching that's liking that's sharing that's giving us things to do or react to each and every day you guys are the best as well um as you can tell from the title oh, by the way i hope you guys are doing all right as you can tell from the title i'll be reacting to the prophecy of syria iraq egypt must watch something different something new something i look forward to reacting to um, if I'm forgetting anything, you can head to the description box, check out the links there and just go there. I also write short poems and short stories on my blog called Blue on WordPress. I have another upcoming blog called it. I have another blog called Morning Coffee with Funny. I'm yet to um, start posting. It's just something that you guys should look forward to as much as i'm looking forward to you can also follow me on my personal uh instagram sefanio because i write poems there i post poems there and you can just check them out and let me know what you think a big shout out to everyone that's even making an effort to contact us out of um youtube thank you very much and thank you for the kind people that are out there always encouraging us and saying good things to us um so without wasting time let's get into the video But Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells us, I want you to listen to this beautiful hadith, <clears throat> which is in Bukhari and Muslim. He said, Kayfa bikum? What will you do when? Kayfa bikum? What will you do when? Iraq. Iraq. منعت العراق قفيزها ودينارها when Iraq is denied its currency the قفيزها is the old currency of Iraq what will be your state and what will you do when a sham when its currency is denied and what will you do when Egypt its currency will be denied and you return to where you began in the first place. What does this mean? When Iraq is denied its currency, when a country falls, its currency falls as well, doesn't it? And you no longer deal with its currency. Another currency replaces it. Al Rasul Sallallahu or the narrator of this hadith, the Rasul Sallallahu was asked, how will it fall? And he said, by foreign intervention. Foreign? intervention al ajam so iraq's currency will fall by the invasion and another currency will replace it then after that he placed it in sequence a sham's currency will be denied so a sham as a nation will fall again another currency will replace soon and it has to be by a foreign intervention Currently, we see only one part of it, inside. It's a bigger picture than what you think. Yes, this is one part of it. Yes, there are oppressors. There is an oppressor in there. Yes, there are oppressors. 
Yes, it is there. However, it is all a... It is one of the rocks, one of the plots within the bigger plan. Then Rasul Sallallahu said, after Asham, he mentioned Misr, Egypt. You think it's over for Egypt right now? According to this hadith, which is in Bukhari and Muslim, something else is coming up. When a currency of a nation falls, it means that the country itself falls and there is an invasion. As Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned over here. It's not happened to Egypt yet. But this is, seems like the sequence that Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is informing us about it. He also said in another narration, this hadith by Abu Huraira, What does this mean? Dhimmat Allah, meaning the Romans or the non-Muslims who used to exist at the time of Islam, when Islam ruled for more than a thousand years. They were non-Muslims who lived in, in the lands of Islam and they were called Dhummis, meaning the ones who are entrusted to us. They lived in our lands and we gave them the right to live in peace and they had to pay something in return for our protection of them. But not the Muslims, Muslims pay zakat. They had to pay this thing called jizya, which means that will protect you, provide you. Today they say tax, we call it jizya for the non-Muslims who live among us. Only this is a type of agreement. When this, he said, the people who used to do this before, they will no longer do it anymore, meaning they will be overpowering you. And these are the types of people who will invade you. Now this is, these are the facts and we see it today. What has happened to Iraq is not something that anyone can deny. And what is now happening in Asham is both, both intervention within and outside. And it is yet to come. Asham, however, is totally different to the rest of the world. It is different to Iraq. It is different to Egypt. It is different to everything. Asham means Lebanon, Syria, parts of Jordan, Palestine. They call it today Israel. I'll call Israeli territories are in there. Palestine and parts of Turkey. This was a sham. And you know when after World War I what happened? They divided a sham. They concentrated on a sham to divide it into different states. Each one with a flag. And they turned the Arabs and Turks against each other because we were once one nation. It was called the last Khilafah al Uthmaniya because we became materialistic and our pride of lineage and our pride of nationalism and our pride of racism crept into us this was the best way to plot and plan to break us apart. Until today, look at us in misery. But Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Leave it alone, for it is a stinking carcass. It cannot bring anything, anything but misery, unhappiness and stench. This is what's happening to us today. No one can really deny what's happening, but um, I don't think certain situations are meant to last forever. We're supposed, we're supposed to, um, like the video said, it's you become materialistic. That's why these things are happening. I think I mentioned in one of the videos saying I love. Um, Yemen and I would like to know more about it. It's the people in that re region that are being um, selfish plus the outside powers. Why would you want to see a fellow nation go through such things? There's so many things that even now as we want to become uh, united because of the virus, going, the virus going on, why can't we be united to stop what's the injustices done by these intervening countries. Why can't we stop the injustice, injustice by these neighboring countries? It's very uh, sickening to know that because higher powers say let's close down borders, we're going to close down borders, but then we're seeing our neighbors suffering. Why can't we rule ourselves? Why should we wait for other people to rule us. We've allowed them to do such things. There's countries in this world where I as an African can't get citizenship. But us as Africans, we give these people citizenship just like that, just by the snap of fingers. Not just Africa, that was just an example. Um, that was just an example. 
but then there's many things that are going on that don't make sense there's many things that are going on that to even think that the world is ignoring them is just sickening like i said uh and it's going to take a lot it's really going to take a lot let's stop people from intervening Congo could be a great, for example, Congo is another country that could be a great state. But then, what's happening? People, other countries are coming in the name of intervening, keeping peace, for what? If we stop being materialistic, not just in Africa, not just Asia, not just uh, Middle East, whatever area it is. If we stop being materialistic and cared about people as people, then would be gaining something out of this world then would build uh, a better nation and something was said in this video that trying to change the system at the end of the day i think by now we all know they're trying to introduce um one world currency we'll see how that goes otherwise let me know what you guys think about this or what i've said or anything that you have to contribute to this and we can have a discussion in the um, comment section and a big shout out to the person that um, brought this forth and thank you very much. It was something worth listening to. Uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.